Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another Attack on Titan. This is Season 3, Episode 10. Uh, yeah. Just finished watching Episode 9. Left. The episode ended on a, on a bit of a cliffhanger. I think it made it look like Kenny was going to turn into a Titan with a syringe. But I've got an idea where he could be giving Levi the syringe with the liquid stuff. So they could study it and... Determine where the liquid came from, I guess, or trace it back to where it's made. Maybe I don't know, but yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into this episode. It's called Friends. Oh, okay, <clears throat> we knew we found Kenny. Wasn't much of a shock. この世に俺より強い奴がいるなんて思いもしなかった。これが巨人ってやつか。本当に嫌がったとは。それも壁の中に。我々の存在を彼に漏らしたものは理解関係者にいるようだ。それを明らかにしないといけない。ならば力を使ってこの資格を喋らせろ。それが叶わないのだ。さするに彼は悪化万家の末裔ではなかろうか。であれば私に刃を向ける理由は彼自身にある。お前がやらないのだ。俺が殺す。ああ、行くさ。許してくれよ。許してくれ。俺を逃がしてもう一度チャンスをくれよ。圧倒的な強者を前にした俺はもう。よかった。I don't know who, I don't know which voice over. I don't what's the voice over saying, bruv? Is he saying that or is he saying that? Both, both of them sound like, oh, fucking hell. you got to admit, oh, stuff, stuffing your skull with shit is such a nice idea. I think that's what he's shouting to Rod. And the bottom one is Kenny thinking. Kenny's looking back at this flashback and I think he's thinking. After all, he literally could have crushed me to death. That's what he's thinking. But why is he saying all that to Rod Reese? He's, Rod Reese is pointing a gun at him and he's saying, I was going to pack you full of shit. Could this be where he joins? アッカーマンなんだろう。こいつの記憶は消せない。殺そうかないのだ。こんな小さな壁の中にさえ楽園を築けなかった。愚かな私を。あれほどの力を持った王が下戦を相手に神戸を垂れ上がる。巨人にも度肝を抜かれたが、それ以上に自分の中の何かが大きく揺らいだのを
クシェルとは知り合いだったよろしくな愛想の名死にかけのガキクシェルの忘れがたみはそれだけだった要はこの地下街で生き延びる術を教えたまでだここから出て地上に行きたきゃ勝手に行けばいいただしそん時はお前自身の力でななぜ王のもとに下ったさあな多分奴が一番強いからだそうこの世で一番偉いのはこの世で一番強い奴のことを示す力さえあれいいんだよ少なくとも妹みてえな最後を迎えることはねえだろうからな Kenny is Levi's uncle then that's sad man I had literally I had tears in my eyes when I found out that was Levi when he said Levi この力はロードの子たちに引き継がれる私はその子らの記憶の中で生き続けるだろうそれはどういうことだ力が引き継がれるだって Oh, Frida ate Yuri. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 みんな慈悲深くなっちまうらしいこんな草野郎でもそうなっちまうのか知りて一体どんな気分なんだあやあや俺のようなクズにも本当にお前と対等な景色を見ることができるのかなあケニーカムリディングリスナーダンリリアンダスタンドソアファミリーオブウォリアーズ・ヒワンス・サーブ・ドロー・ガヴェメント。ディビガンツ・ビー・パーセキュー・ドフ・ディスティン・シングム・サーブ・ソン・ドロー・ファミリー。コー。The details are unknown, but some experience a mysterious awakening and gain abilities exceeding a typical human's. What? Who do? Is this trying to tell me that the Ackerman family experience a mysterious awakening and gain abilities? That's what the Ackerman family does. Some. Some experience it. Maybe that's what Kenny experienced then. Gain abilities, though. What's that? What abilities did Kenny gain? And what's this big old picture here? We yet to, we yet to get confirmation on that one. If m a c a s t e r s related to Kenny and Levi, we're awaiting some confirmation. But she did say that her mum was Oriental.、Oh, I don't even know, I can't remember. But it was something to do with m a c a s t e r s parents. Anyway, let's continue. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Come on, Kenny, let's not go mad on your death's doors. Sake that tari, Onna that tari, Kamisama that tari musuru. Ichizok, O Sama, you may Kodomo Chikara Minna Nanika ni o p a r a t e m e t o Yatera Nagata. True. みんな何かの奴隷だっただが俺らアッカーマンが対立した理由はそ,それだ<笑>俺のせいもアッカーマンらしいなあんた本当は母さんのなんだ<笑>バカがただの兄貴だ Uncle Kenny. Kenny. 
No. Got a bit of tears in my eyes. Got a bit of tears in my eyes. Is that his story, yeah? Everyone's there, man. This is nice. Oh, what a plan. Queen Historia. I'm liking it. Is it too good to be true, though? Everyone's a bit too happy. Who's she smacking? Levi. You good? What's going on here? Kattaze. Ani chan taskeru no wa ato na. Zohyou no dashi wo yusen. Tozen daro? Koko de matte re. Atchi kara kuru. Who is this fucker? Is this is that? Uh, is Aaron's dad? No, it's not Aaron's dad. Seems to me, right, I'm talking about that right there, right fucking there, right now, right, right, right now. I'm talking about that bit right now. Did, uh, did Reiner and Bertolt try and go against the Beast Titan there? Because the Beast Titan said, I won, now let's fucking go get this coordinate. Fuck the Beast Titan. Fuck him. But what, what, what was Reiner and Bertolt fighting for? Unless it was Reiner, like a 1v1 one, one one against the Beast Titan. Who is the Beast Titan? He had glasses. He had glasses the same as Eren's dad, but that's... Fuck that. He has blonde hair, so it ain't Eren's dad. He's ripped to shit. Who is it, then? Reiner's... Does Reiner have an older brother? Is it Reiner's dad? It's someone, man. It's not someone random, bruv. It's someone's... It's... It's gotta be, like, a family member of someone that we've seen, or an acquaintance of someone. Man, it's not just going to be some random dude. But yeah, that seems like... Reiner's Titan was defeated. Bertolt was like, Reiner, got him out. And the Beast Titan said he won. Time to get the coordinator. Or the coordinate, which is Eren. Eren has the power. So would Eren have to die? Do you think Historia could defeat... The Beast Titan with... With Eren's power. Do you reckon Historia has to eat Eren. In order to defeat the Beast Titan. Because there was not a scratch on the Beast Titan. And Reiner's literally on the floor. And Eren struggled. Against Reiner. What if. What if. Eren. And Historia. Get together. Because she's queen now. Eren can be king. And would that help? Like he's married to a Historia. What if they have a kid? Oh, I'm getting too into it. I'm getting too much into it. What if... What if Historia... Can have a kid with someone? No. She, she, she has to have a kid with Eren. Historia and Eren needs to get together. Have a kid. And because he gets passed down... To the next generation, the power... The... the 
the power and the vessel will literally combine into one kid. And then it's all right again. The kid would have got the power from Erin. And the kid would get the bloodline from Historia. Thus creating a perfect child to end to end what? End the Beast Titan? We can't wait that fucking long. We can't wait that long. Can't wait that long. So what's going to happen? I don't know. I've got no suggestions. I'll probably just have to watch. But that was fucking sick. That last scene was sick. With Reiner's body on the floor, he got fucking demolished by the Beast Titan. And he's definitely the leader. He's the leader, man. Reiner and Bertolt don't want to be a part of this. They were forced into this. He even said we'll get Annie later. Oh, Reiner and Bertolt have no choice, but why don't they have a choice? The Beast Titan must have something of theirs, or he must be doing something in order to keep them in line. Because what's stopping Reiner and Bertolt? I know they're gonna. I know they'll just get captured, right, and interrogated if they go back to Erin and Levi and Owen and that. But it's deeper. Something's stopping them from joining forces with Levi and Erwin and that. Because I reckon if they do something out of line, something's going to happen to someone they know, maybe. Oh, I don't know. But they've been... Runner and Bertolt and Annie have been training since kids, man. So the Beast Titan and whoever else is behind all this is using kids to do their work because Reiner and Bertolt were 12 years old when they first smashed through the gates so yeah they're pieces of shit for using kids and I kind of like I do like Reiner and Bertolt a little bit now that more truth is coming to light being exposed I'm starting to like him a little bit more but that's that that's my thoughts on that Holy shit. Kenny being the uncle to Levi. We found out that the kid in the corner of the room in the flashbacks was Levi. I said last episode, what if it's Mikasa? That's what I was waiting for, but it had kind of like a male voice. I should have said it was Levi. I should have clocked it was Levi. I should have done. But it just didn't look... It didn't look like a, ma a boy. No offence. Didn't, he didn't look like a boy. He looked like a girl. Young girl. Oh, f so that theory at the beginning of episode 9 before I started it. I don't know. It could be still be true. But the kidnappers thing with Mikasa's parents. I still think that's something to do with. Because they couldn't be controlled. Or their, their memories couldn't be altered. I think that's why they were kidnapped and they were going to be killed off because of that. That's what I think about that one. Historia becoming queen. Holy shit. Holy shit. Like I said just now, she needs a king. King. King Erin Jaeger. How good does that sound? Or would he have to take the name of Historia Reese? Erin Reese. King Erin Reese. I don't know. But if they want. If Historia's bloodline needs the power, that's literally all I can think of. Erin and Historia need to get together and have a kid. So both both can be brought down. The power and the bloodline. Without without Historia having to eat Erin, that's that's what I can see. That's like the only possibility I can see happening. The first half of the episode was all about Kenny. Not like his upbringing, but how he kind of joined the side that he fought against for ages for years he said he wants to experience he wanted to experience the power sorry if you, if you can hear rain i'm sorry the windows right here um it's actually quite cold because there's a breeze that comes through and it's quite annoying sometimes why does my camera keep blurring is it because the mic's in front of me the mic is the closest thing to the camera so if you move it will it focus Will I go blurry? Will it focus on the thing? It's starting to piss me off. 
But yeah, Kenny said he wanted to experience part of the power to see if it will make him, I don't know, have a better outlook on life. He wanted to see if trash like him could see the world in a better light. But then against that tree, just before he died, he realised that everyone is a slave to a certain goal or a certain dream, which is true man i mean i wouldn't put it like that i'd say it's motivation to keep going everyone's got a goal to keep going but i wouldn't call yourself a slave to it unless it's literally eating away at you and rod reese telling yuri rod reese said to yuri he said oh you can't erase his memory we've got to kill him so that maybe that's what that's why Mikasa's parents were taken, captured by kidnappers. Huh? Because their memories can't be erased. So they need to be killed. They need to be dealt with. But on this occasion, Kenny joined. Joined Rod Reese's side. I reckon... Do you reckon he... Do you reckon he joined forces with people he was fighting against? He joined forces with them just because he wanted the power. To see if trash like him could have a better outlook on life. That's like the only. Is, do you reckon that's the only reason he joined forces? Like there and then. Because when Yuri bowed to him, that's what was like, whoa, someone with power like that could bow to me. Like maybe I want this power. I feel like I need to say more on Kenny because he's dead. And the first part was about him, but he was a really good character. Whoever voiced. Whoever voiced him was superb. Like, he had a voice, like a nice deep one. The subtitles made me laugh. The way he spoke, he was like saying ancha, gotcha, stuff like that. He was quite cockney in a way. English term, cockney. But yeah, I like the way he talked. He talked very slowly, but it was quite sinister the way he spoke. But yeah. I'd say I'd say Kenny is one of my favourite characters throughout the whole show. That's saying something as well. That is saying something. Considering he was on the bad side for the majority of it, and he was only really he only really showed his good side at the end. But we need to find out. I think Levi had a bit of a flashback. It looked like he was surrounded by a load of I don't know, muggers or bullies and then and then Kenny ran off, or walked off, sorry. Maybe he wanted Levi to be on his own, learn his lesson, see how many he can take on before it got too much. Maybe Kenny thought that's the only way Levi's going to learn, is if he fights on his own to see what his potential can be. Maybe, I don't know. But it looks like Kenny uh, Levi's not going to get an answer because Kenny has passed away. Rest in peace. But yeah, I'm going to stop it there on that note. So thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction, you can watch the full version of this reaction over on my Patreon. And you can watch the full versions of the previous nine episodes of this season in full. You can also watch the full reactions to season one and season two of Attack on Titan all on my Patreon. And if you didn't already know, I've got an early access feature on my Patreon. So if you're watching this episode on YouTube, this is episode 10. That would mean that 11... And 12 will be on there too. And there should be more. I'm not sure. But some writing up here will let you know if there's any more episodes on my Patreon for you to watch that are available now. So whatever is showing up here, whatever numbers are showing up here, those are the episodes available that you can watch ahead of my YouTube schedule. And they're all in full footage as well. No cuts, no edits. I don't miss out any of your favourite scenes. So cool thanks guys for watching again and i'll see you for episode 11 take it easy